Hey everybody, Happy Gamer here. This is my first in the series of Nightly Houses, where I read to you the history and I guess sometimes uh, special units in the Nightly Houses. I'm going to start with House Crast. Okay. House Crast hails from the night world of Crisis and was the first of its kind to be rediscovered at the outset of the Great Crusade. The proximity of Crisis to the Sol system saw it quickly fall under the jurisdiction of Mars. However, Kraft, Krast, was the only nightly house on Crisis to survive the calamitous events of the Horus heresy, forcing its ruler to rely heavily on the Forge World's support to recover his losses. Thankfully, Mars was happy to oblige, for it was desperate for the resources and Crisis still had them in abundance. With such strong connections to the Forge World, House Crast has ever borne the red of Adeptus Mechanicus as its livery. In the wake of the Horus Heresy, the House Crest was changed by the unanimous consent of its nobles. Instead of the lion rampant, the crest now depicts an iron fist squeezing the life from the serpent of chaos. Die, chaos, die! Sorry. Each noble then swore a mighty oath of vengeance against the traitor forces of Horus. Ever since the bitter wars of scouring, House Crast's knights have been in the forefront of the fight against chaos. The Head Taker Titan Hunters. Of the bitter betrayals that led to the destruction of all but one of the knightly houses on Crisis, House Crast holds the base treachery of Legio Mortis to be the worst. As one of Mars's own Titan Legions, the Death's Heads fought alongside the Knights of House Crest on many occasions during the early years of the Great Crusade. However, after siding with Horus during the ensuing Civil War, the Death's Heads were reborn in the image of the Plague God Nurgle and led the assault that devastated Crisis and annihilated the planet's lesser houses. The Knights of House Crast have ever sought to avenge their fallen kinsmen and seek out the Titans of Legio Mortis above all others in battle. Should a Knight claim a Titan kill, his deed will herald many celebrations on his return to his homeworld. However, such revelry will pale in comparison on that of Crisis should a knight of Crast fell one of Legio Mortis. The noble will be treated to a triumph in his honor, and he will henceforth be known as a head-taker. Each Headtaker bears a broken death's head symbol on his knight's suit or tabard. A battle honor reminding all of his heroic deed and celebrating the destruction of a hated foe. Rumored sightings of the traitor titans of Legio Mortis amongst the chaos forces besieging the Cadian Gate led to House Crast redeploying to that war zone in great force. And now the prologue. House Crast has ever been involved 
in a number of great victories over the forces of chaos. Though they never shirk their responsibilities to their Adeptus Mechanicus allies should the tech priests of Mars summon them to war. During the Battle of Herald's Fall, four household detachments of House Crast's knights fought the invading orc forces of Wag Spleen Ripper alongside the Cockatrices. Titan Legion. Though they lost fully half their number over the course of the fighting, the three survivors above earned what passes for acclaim from the fabricator general himself after bringing down Spleen Ripper's Great Gargant in a combined assault before it could smash apart the irreplaceable war machine Ordinatus Mars. In the wake of the battle, head taker Forillus, the knight who gutted the warlord's gargant with his reaper chainsword, was seconded to the legion. Boom. Next, I will do more knightly houses. I hope you enjoy it and keep watching!